Hey, it's Clay Trader at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video. I'm going to try to capture some of my trades as they unfold. Market opens up here in less than two minutes. I did do a little bit of pre-market trading more so, just kind of testing out a few things on uh, ALTR. So we'll see how things unfold again. Market opens up in two minutes. Okay, I got some shares here at uh, just a small little uh, section there at 30. Uh, picked some up at 38.70, then I sold uh, some at 38.75 to mitigate some risk. Another 100 at 38.80, and then my final at 38.98. So I uh, made some money there. And hindsight, I should have held, but shoulda, woulda, coulda, woulda. Hindsight's uh, hindsight can make you feel very stupid. So um, looking to probably start to get short here a little bit. So we're just going to go in small, and uh, we'll see if I can get filled some at 39.35. I'll keep you updated. Have an order to short at 63.15 on UAL, so we'll see if it can get up there. I'll keep you updated. All right, uh, shorted, uh, what was it, 500 shares at 39.50, and trying to scale out some more here. See if it can roll back over. Actually, I'm just going to set a stop loss up above 56 for those final 200. And if it breaks above there, then I'll be all out. But if it wants to roll back over, then I'm going to make some more money. So uh, I'm now at the place where it's going to be a winning trade. But the only question is, how big of a winning trade is it going to be? Well, I'm just going to sit back and let the trade work for me. And I will gradually move this stop loss down. Uh, but for now, if it gets up to 39.56, then technically I'll be taking a loss on the final. Uh, I'll take a six cents loss on those final 200 shares. But uh, within the grand scheme of things, it'll still be a win. Uh, but, you know, very minimal risk now uh, with the potential of it if it rolls back over to make, you know, a lot more. So uh, let's see what happens here with it. I will keep you updated. And now that I, that has come down, I am going to move my stop up just slightly. It'll still technically be uh, a, a one cent loss, but as the move has come back down, I want to ensure that uh, you know my risk now is just very small. But this is a great spot to be in. You know, talk about no stress. You know, I, I'm not worried. Am I going to make money? Am I going to you know w what's going on? Now the only thing I'm stressed out about is how much money am I going to make? And that's uh, you know. That's what charting's all about. That's what technicals trading's all about. That's what risk versus reward trading is all about. So truly a nice spot to be in. So we'll see what happens with it. I will, if it looks like I'm going to get stopped out, I'll try to catch that. Let's see if this one's going to roll over for me. Looking like I might get stopped out here. Let's see. Oh, and I'm out. So, like I said, took a, technically speaking, a one cent loss on those final shares. But, you know, had that rolled over, uh, that would have been just a beautiful, uh, you know, the, the, the upside would have been so much better. So, um, hindsight now, yeah, you could say, well, you should have sold when it was down in the 30s. Yeah, I should have in hindsight. But what happens if it had fallen all the way down to 38.50? Then you would have said, well, why, why did you sell everything up there? So, you know, keep in mind, hind, keep in mind hindsight can, can be very tricky. But let's keep on moving, see if I can find some other trades. All right, sorry about that. Uh, kind of had to, things got a little messy there on Twitter. It, things did not go uh, according to plan, so I kind of had to stay focused. And, um, you know, that, that, that loss was actually uh, quite a bit bigger, uh, but I just kind of, what I like to call, massaged the trade a little bit and, uh, you know, kept the, the loss and managed the risk there and kept it at 18. So, um, you know, I, I, I shorted, got a little, didn't get my best short, so I had to manage the position a little bit uh, as it went against me some more than, like I said, um, now I would have been able to turn a, turn a profit here, but like I said, just not worth it. Um, I'd rather have an $18 loss. That's uh, something that uh, I can easily come over, or I should say overcome. So let's see what happens. Okay, I picked up, let me just get out here. There we go. I picked up uh, 300 shares at 69.90, and then when I got the recording going again, sold out 100 at 69.99, another 100 at 70.05, and then the final one's there at 70.15. And I will actually look to uh, build some more if it wants to go back down there and, and redo what I did. Let me figure out where that low was. So again, if it wants to go to back down, I'll look to get some at 60, 
6980 and uh, do the same thing again but just to point out uh, you know and as far as time passage is concerned uh, it hasn't been more than two minutes since I took that loss on Twitter so that's why you want to keep them small there's there's no shame at all I want to say that again there's no shame at all in being wrong and taking a loss that's just part of the game and if, if, if you can accept that or if that really bothers you that you have to admit to yourself that you were wrong and are going to take losses then don't get into trading uh, or if you are in trading and you can't admit that to yourself, then uh, trading is going to be very cruel to you because that's just part of the game, and that's why you want to keep them small. Like I said, it wasn't even two minutes, and I've already not only wiped away that loss, but you know added some more green to the account. So very uh, key principle there. All right, I haven't ordered a short at 40.35. I think I might have been a little too aggressive on wanting that entry point as now it's pulling back a little bit, but I'll still give it a little bit more time to play out. Uh, so let's see what happens with it. All right, I actually just changed it to 40.49. I think I can get uh, a better entry point there. So again, hopefully I didn't just change, set myself up to get too aggressive again. But uh, my personal comfort level, my personal risk tolerance, which is a, a key component for every individual trader, I just feel better with it up at 40.49. So that's what I'm going to change it to. So let's see what happens with it. All right, I have not been even thinking about trading the past, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. We just had somebody in the chat room um, say that they made... Uh, they had options at 12 cents and then they sold them at $1.45. So I'm always very skeptical when I hear that stuff. So I went to, well, let's see a screenshot. Sure enough, they posted a screenshot, picked up some uh, BABA, BABA options for 12 cents. And then with today's action, uh, which you can see here on uh, the chart, the big gap up, uh, you know, they, they went up to as high as $1.45, which was is like 1,100% gain. So it's one of those things where uh, options can... Uh, can um, you know be very profitable? I should say. So I'm, I'm uh, uh, I would, like I said, I was super skeptical at first. So, but when I hear that, I'm like, no, no, you know, if you're gonna make reclaims like that, you definitely got to provide proof. And this person, like I said, uh, posted the screenshot. Actually, uh, why don't I, I might as well just bring it over because it's, it's pretty neat. Let's see. So if I bring this over, you can see right there, uh, they bought. The option, well, this option they bought at 12 and they scaled some out at $1.13. So I don't know, what is that, like 600%? And then right here, bought for $0.12 cents and then uh, scaled out for $1.45. So, uh, wow, that's, and I know they're still holding on to one more of their option. So, or one more of their contracts, I should say. But yeah, so that's what distracted me. I'd like to catch one more trade, but uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, I have an order out there to short $40.99. ALTR. So trying to go back to this uh, one that's been a good cash cow for me so far. So let's see if it can get up there and film me. I'll keep you updated. Going for some shares here at 72.49. But not sure if it's going to get up there or not. So I'll keep you updated. Looking for a quick, quick trade here on ALTR. Looking for it to pop very... Uh, very efficiently, very quickly up to 41.15 as a spot to potentially either get a quick trade or build from there. So let's see if it can get up there or not. I will keep you updated. Okay, well, I'm officially annoyed. And when I get annoyed as a trader, I've learned about myself. I just need to step away. So I'm going to wrap up the video here. I can't get any more fills anymore. Um, and it's annoying me. It's making me want to force trade. So I'm just going to wrap things up. So if you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about how to trade with charts, uh, how to use you know technical analysis to, to leverage and put yourself in good risk versus reward uh, situations, then uh, you know by all means uh, check out claytrader.com, my site. If you go to the um, the course area, then you can see I offer multiple training courses. I have a private trading group in that chat room that I actually brought across earlier when I was talking about the option. Uh, you can join that too. That's a very fairly priced. Uh, and especially when you compare it to other paid chat rooms out there, uh, it's, it's really not even a comparison. Uh, when you do the math, it breaks down to like a dollar ninety cents a week. So, uh, and you can find that money in your couch cushions. Anyways, and finally, if you're interested, uh, I'll end the video with a, a little guide because one of the main questions I get is how do I find the stocks uh, that I trade. Uh, so I have put together a free resource guide on that where I just talk about the tools that I use to find stocks uh, that I find the potential in where I could, uh, you know pull some profits from them. So if you're interested in that, like I said, I'll end the video with that. Thank you for watching. Get out there and trade without emotion.